welcome back to my channel if you're new here my name is diamond i share content on lifestyle health wellness beauty and most importantly skincare so if you're interested in stuff like that go ahead and subscribe today's video i'm going to do a comparison between the ordinary glycolic acid and paula's choice bha both are similar but very different if you watched any of my previous the ordinary videos then you already know i am i have been obsessed and i love the glycolic acid i've been using the glycolic acid for a long periodically time we have to sit out here and wait a long periodically time it was about time that your girl leveled up a little bit. So I have been using the Paula's Choice BHA. I had the small bottle because I did not want to invest in that big ass bottle and then not end up liking it. But I'm going to get into it. I'm going to get into it. I have, just for reference, I have dry to combination skin. And these products can be used on both skin types. So listen, if you're oily, if you're dry, if you're normal, if you're combination, don't worry. Either of these products are going to work for you. Let me get into the breakdown, okay? And we're going to see which one should you be spending your coin on. Are you going to spend your coin on the Ordinaries? glycolic acid or are you spending your coin on the bha let's get into it the ordinary the ordinary's glycolic acid seven percent is a mild exfoliant the exfoliation in this helps improve the texture and the radiance of your skin while also giving you some form of clarity for textured skin so if you're someone that uh, deals with a lot of texture on your skin like your skin isn't like glass it's kind of like you know like you could see the texture when you put on certain things or even when you don't have when you put on makeup even if you don't wear makeup when you see the little texture bumps in your skin and you're like damn how do I get rid of this shit the glycolic acid is for you the ordinary's glycolic acid has ingredients like pepperberry if I'm not mistaken, I feel like pepperberry is an antioxidant and it's a very rich antioxidant that helps protect your skin cells from free radicals. It also has aloe vera, which, listen, if you are a part of the crew and you are a part of the community, you know I love me some aloe vera, okay? I actually have a few videos on my channel about aloe vera but more specifically I recently did a video on how to create your own aloe vera products for your skin at home things like aloe vera oil aloe vera toner these are things that you can make at home that are just as effective as buying it in the store so if you're interested in something like that after this video Go ahead check it out in the glycolic acid aloe vera is included in the ingredient of the glycolic acid to help soothe any irritation or redness that you know you might deal with in your skin and in the glycolic acid you also have ginseng ginseng helps boost the radiance of your skin and give you and that is what the that is what gives you the glow when using the ordinary and i think that is what I was so obsessed with. I have been using the Ordinary's glycolic acid for years upon years upon years. I think I started using it in like 2017 or something like that. And I'm just obsessed with the radiance that it gives my skin. So in this glycolic acid, you are getting beneficial ingredients that help your skin in a gentle way. And the price point, you cannot cannot deny the price point of this product the price point of the ordinary's glycolic acid is such a great value for the money especially if you're looking for something that will help you get a smoother skin texture paula's choice bha is a non abrasive formula and it includes salicylic acid salicylic 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 say it five times fast salicylic 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 acid <laughs> correct me if i'm wrong when i say that it's non-abrasive by non-abrasive i mean that it doesn't have like a harsh 
acid in it like the glycolic acid it could be a little bit harsh for the skin um um the ordinary is only using seven percent so it's not harsh for your for the skin in the ordinary product but this bha does not include glycolic acid i mean this the Paula's Choice BHA does not include glycolic acid. Instead, they added something more gentle, which is salicylic acid that helps improve the skin cells on the surface of your skin. So you're topically putting this on as a toner on the surface of your skin, but the salicylic acid penetrates your skin cells even deeper and gets under the skin, okay? It gets under the skin and into your pores. And that's what you want by doing this this helps reduce blemishes and blackheads and it gives you a more clarifying and clear complexion so just like the glycolic acid it's going to help you even out your skin tone and also even out the texture of your skin also like the glycolic acid having the pepperberry i think it was pepperberry having pepperberry in it as its antioxidant paula's choice bha is actually using green tea to deliver a big large dose of antioxidants into your skin and this helps soothe and protect the skin as well so if you're looking for something that could reliably clear up your acne prone skin paula's choice skin perfecting bha is it okay i actually started using it because i think my skin got so used to using the glycolic acid that i started to have texture on my skin and i started to have like little breakouts here and there and i was like oh. girl breakouts no ma'am not here not today okay we need to find we need to find something we need to find something we need to find something Paula's Choice came up and I started using it and I have been so impressed. My skin, I've been using it for the past two months and my skin has literally, literally, literally changed. The one thing I will say is the BHA, the Paula's Choice BHA is not something that you need to use long term. Like I don't think it's something that I'm going to have in my cabinet for a long time and this is why it's something that is going to be effective for your issue in the moment but i i personally don't think it's something that you once your skin is cleared up is something that's going to continue to be beneficial for your skin girl what do you mean i mean once your skin is under control and your blemishes and your acne has faded away it's better to switch to something that's a little more a little more inexpensive because paul's choice is it's a, it's a little penny for some some skin toner so it's better to tran to it's better to switch to something that's that's a little bit less expensive but just as beneficial just as effective and maybe honestly even better kind of like the cores um power the cores power bha or the bha power liquid something like that but that's another video for another time so which one do you think you'll spend your coin on do you think the ordinaries glycolic acid is something that would be beneficial for your skin tone or the paula's choice bha which one would you go with leave <laughs> let me know in the comments below thank you so much for watching i hope you enjoyed night